The resignation of City Clerk Sandy Kennedy last month left the position open and needing to be filled, and the decision of who will be her replacement has been made. 21 Alive's Jen Danzak joins us live from Allen County Democratic Party headquarters. Jen, what do we know? Good evening, Emily. After three decades of being in office, former city clerk Sandy Kennedy officially resigned from her position last month, and her seat was vacant up until today. Now, last week, Republicans uh, Lana Keesling was elected as the new city clerk to take office January 1st. But this afternoon, the Allen County Democratic Party held a caucus of around 50 officials to elect a replacement to serve out the remainder of Sandy Kennedy's term in accordance with the Indiana Election Code. Out of five candidates narrowed down to two, Michelle Chambers was selected to fill the part. Kennedy's resignation came after she was the center of a controversy last month after a video surfaced showing Kennedy apparently threatening employees to donate to Angie Davis's campaign for city clerk. But the former clerk says her health is her reason behind the resignation. Chambers says although her term is only a short 45 days, she is thrilled to get in the office first thing in the morning. I'm looking forward to the opportunity to start the position on Monday to get uh, business going as usual in City Hall, make sure that all the processes and policies are running smoothly. Looking forward to working with the existing staff to keep things going in a positive direction. Now, Jen, we know that Deputy Clerk Angie Davis also resigned from her position after those videos surfaced, but do we know if anyone's going to take her place? Yes, uh, former Deputy Clerk Angie Davis was a part of this controversy as she was seen in that video with Sandy Kennedy, possibly taking part in all of these illegal actions. But uh, she resigned from her position last month, and Michelle Chambers is sworn in tomorrow. She's eager to get ready, and she might appoint her own Deputy Clerk for this interim period for the next 45 days. So we'll just find out this week. All right. Thanks for the update, Jen. Sounds good.